Hey guys, it's Erin and I am back with another Mixed Media Menagerie. As you know, this is an artist collaboration with Laura, Nicole, and myself, where every month we choose a fun collection of strange things that we use to create some journal spreads in our Dina Wakely Media Journal. This month is sponsored by the amazing Artistro paint pens. Oh my gosh, I love these. We'll get more into that once we break into the goodies of this month. So we have our wonderful ephemera pack that was dropped by Nicole and these lovely Artistro paint pens that pack a huge ginormous punch. I love them, but we'll get into those more as the journal goes. And then of course the Dina Wakely Media Journal. So if you play along with us over on Instagram and use the um, hashtag Mixed Media Menagerie, you are entered into an automatic drawing where you could win a goodie pack like this um, for the next month. So if you want an amazing little package of goodies like this, be sure to play along this month with the prompts that we listed before. So look at all of this stuff. I cannot believe how much Laura packed into this amazing little package. My mind is just reeling, like what am I gonna use? How do I wanna use these goodies to create our theme for this month? I was super thrilled to see these rub-ons. I just love rub-ons. There's something so satisfying about rubbing them onto a page and look at all of those delicious ones. And we have some great little raindrop papers there, which goes with the rain for this month and some ledger paper. So many goodies. I've got lots of inspiration to work with here. Now I just have to know where I'm gonna go from there. So let's jump into the play. All right, I've got my Dina Wakela Media Journal here. There was last month's, oh gosh, we have a jean page. Could you hear me like sigh? Ugh. I don't know what to do with these and I can't just rip it out. I'm gonna force myself to use it. So I'm thinking there's already a fold in it. What if I just fold this up and somehow make some sort of like little triangle kind of weird divider here. The wheels in my brain are literally like grinding to a halt right now as I try and figure how I want to do this. Now I know I can't just keep it folded because it'll be really really thick so I've got to um, take out some of this bulk. So I'm gonna just get an idea of where I want that and I'm gonna hold this and grab my scissors. Ah okay it's gonna be one of those days where things are just not <laughs> gonna flow easily. So grab some coffee or a drink or whatever beverage calls to you because we are going to have a journey today. Luckily, these cute little scissors are doing a much easier job. So now we have that done. I'm gonna fold it back up again and I'm thinking I'm gonna make this um, a bit of a pocket. So I'm gonna guesstimate here where I want that to go and then just cut off this excess here as straight as possible without measuring and then we don't need this little bit so that will definitely cut down a lot of the bulk and now I need to I want that to be a point so I'm gonna have to lift that up a little bit and then we'll just cut off that's a little better um, cut off this excess here that goes over the page because we're not going to need that but we want to make sure it lines up to that point there so we'll just snip along here There we go. And then let's just grab um, a little bit of double-sided tape. I'm not sure how well this will hold, but for now it's gonna keep it in place and out of the way. So I'm just going to peel that backing off and then fold it up right there into that crack, the crease, give it a good press. And all right, there. Step one, done. Whew, a little bit of pressure off. So I think what I'm gonna do is gesso that, because I'm not sure what else I wanna do, but you always start with a little gesso. I've got this great little um, Vicky um, Bhutan, or I'm not sure if that's how you say her name, but it sounds fancy that way. So I'm just going to gesso this up, dry it, and then start in on some collage. Um, it's pretty boring, you can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing, so I'll throw on some fun music and jump back in when I'm done. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun. 
sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. I used that denim there to help so the pages wouldn't stick, but now let's add a little bit of color. And as this, this month's theme is cool colors, I grabbed a few of my favorite blues, um, some darker, and then I have my fluorescent blue, which I love. We'll just add a bit there. And everything that I use will be down in the description box below. So if you are interested in the colors or the products, that is where you can find that. So I'm just gonna take some spray water here and let's get inky, just get this color all over the spread. And now that we have all that matte medium on there, we're able to rub away or uh, manipulate that color as we see fit. So I've got my fingers, and now I'm gonna use a, one of the other prompts, which is a texture stamp. So I'm just gonna pull up some of that ink and then rub it off onto my towel there. Um, and it, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it does give a little bit of an interesting texture there. So we'll go ahead and dry that really good before moving on to the next step. While I was drying, I realized that I wanted to keep that kind of diamond um, more raw, I guess would be a good word. So I just took a charcoal pencil and marked that out so I don't add any paint as we go through the layers there. I took some of that bubble wrap that was just laying off to the side and picked up a little bit more of the color and moved it around the page. Um, it's pretty much dry. Uh, but I'm going to continue pressing on, and now I have this beautiful lavender color from Charvin, and I just, this movement just felt really good. It kind of looked like waves. I had no idea what I was going to do with the page, um, but just this movement, just the that kind of crappy dry brush and moving the paint around just felt really good. And I found that a lot of what I ended up doing on this journal page was just movements that felt really good to me. So when you were arting, um, arting, such a weird word. So when you're working in your art journal, um, don't always worry about what looks good and what doesn't. Go with what feels good. And if something feels good, do it so your heart can explode with joy. And for the top part, I just wanted to bring back a little bit more of that liquid ink. It was one of the darker blues. Um, and my brush is still dirty with some of that uh, Charvin paint, but I don't really care because I just want to get the white off that page. I'm just going to fill in this area here 
so it's darker and that way I don't have any of that white peeking through. I'm going to leave where the um, where the vintage ledger paper is, but just the white that was showing through. I don't want any of that. So there we go. And then to cover up all of my hard work, we're just going to bring in some paint and a brayer. So grab some gesso, a couple of uh, blue colors, and just brayer and, you know, till I feel like I've gotten all of that brayering out of my system. this ugly white space showing, I, I thought I would go ahead and add some collage bits um, to bring it together and give it more of a cohesive feel instead of adding more paint. So I'm just going to grab a bunch of um, the collage bits that Nicole included and start bringing them onto the page. <music> medium over both sides and it's all dry, I'm going to bring back that texture stamp and a little bit of gray archival stamp ink and just kind of press that around the page to bring a little bit of interest and some added texture. So that looks about good. And I'd like to bring in a bit more of those beautiful collage pieces that Nicole added. So I'm just going to um, add a few of those around the page and I like adding them kind of in that square so it pulls your eye around the page. You'll see as I um, go along and I also love adding the pages along into that little flap there so when it's opened it looks like it's part of that um, right side of the page so everything flows together so that's all I'm doing here <music> bits from one of our last menageries and I thought I would love to bring them onto the page. I love swirls um, and I wanted to bring some more black so I thought why don't I add a border around the entire spread. I love adding borders. It just gives it this really nice uh, pulled together and uh, clean feel. So I'm adding just lines here so I could measure it out. At first I started with one inch and then I thought that's way too big and I went back down to about um, three quarters of an inch. So you'll see me measuring and then I will paint that out and be right back.
done, we've got a good dry, and then we can start trying out where we want to lay down our little swirlies. And I was thinking I wanted something to kind of connect them together to ground them onto the page. And then I saw out of the corner of my eye those lines from the rub-ons. Oh yes, we're bringing in the rub-ons. So I'm just going to cut out some of these lines and connect them from one side of the page going through that little triangle and then on to the other. Included these beautiful um, swirly scripty ones and this one had some beautiful writing on it and I thought that would be another fun little element to add in between our circles so I'm just sort of laying them out and then I'm going to press those on as well quick and easy I'm using the back of my tweezers because I couldn't find one of those little wooden popsicle stick things but hey the back of the tweezers works amazingly well and super quick your lines are not straight so I have an extra little bit here so I'm just going to connect it to that one and there we go that's a little bit better and then I thought oh this doesn't match in the center so let's add this other one down below um, and then give it kind of that nice feel there we go much better I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper and then the Uhu glue stick and just start gluing down our little orbs and then um, some of them I didn't pull all of the pieces out of it and I kind of like that it had that thicker bit so I'm just going to kind of roll those in different areas so it looks like the shape is actually spinning across the page this one it looks like those little extra bits got knocked out but that is okay so there we go now we've got to work on the inside a little bit um, I want it to pop a little bit more and then we have this pocket and I want to figure out if there's something I want to put into that pocket so she had this beautiful piece of um, scrapbook paper and I'm just trying to gauge how long that pocket is so I'm just gonna rip that little bit off there and I don't want it to stick out I want it to be totally hidden so I'm gonna use that we'll just kind of push that in there a little bit more that tape eventually it's gonna hold <laughs> And now I'm just going to, we've got our little pocket there, and I just want to add a little bit of the jean onto the back of that from the page, um, just to kind of bring that homage of the jean page into it. And to bring in more of those swirls, there's this cool dot circle that was in the rub-ons as well. So I'm just going to use that dot pattern and put it onto our little tag that's going to go in the pocket. And while I'm rubbing this on, I'm trying to think how I would like to make this little diamond pop without making it too conspicuous um, when the page is closed. So there we've got that little rub on there. It's going to fit perfect in our little pocket. And now I'm, see when it's closed, you're not going to notice it, but I want it to really pop. And then out of the corner of my eye, I spied my pastels. So I just grabbed a couple of those and just added a little bit of a shadow along the side and then brought it into the other side of the page as well so it just didn't look out of place. I find that when I'm feeling stuck and I'm not sure where to go it's either best for me to totally step away from the piece and think about it or to just grab something and not think and just keep continuing and I think that's kind of uh, what I was doing with the pastel here is just keep movement keep that keep that momentum going and then I was like I want to use those paint pens so here just a little clip about those paint pens. They are for multi-surfaces. Um, you can also use them on ceramics and bake them to create a permanent um, art piece, which I thought was amazing. And they have, this This one is super fine point. Um, they have a bunch of different tips and then also tons of colors. I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get some more of those colors because I really 
actually loved playing with these. Here's a bit of the bullet tip so you can see it makes an extremely fine line. You can turn it sideways and make a little bit of a thicker line, but these were delicious. Um, I wanted to swatch them out so you could see all of the colors. They are pretty much uh, true to whatever the color of the cap is, except for that pink. Um, but I loved this rainbow color. They paint beautifully on all types of surfaces. Um, I played with them over the weekend as well, and they worked really well, even on top of chalk. Um, you've got to work it just a little bit. But I loved my Poscas, but I found that the Posca pens, the really fine point, they're a pain in the butt, and they always get clogged, and it never comes out evenly. But these, such a dream. So if you're interested, I'll put the link down below, and be sure to use this coupon code for 10% off of your purchase. And now I'm back just doing a little bit of doodling on the top and the bottom of my page. Now Artistro sponsored us and even sent along an extra pack for us to give away in our monthly ephemera pack. So be sure to play along because you never know what amazing surprises you might just win along with that ephemera pack. to add a little bit something extra on the inside and actually my camera shut off I did add a little bit of blue pastel on the inside to really make that line pop but now I'm taking my white um, artistro pen and I'm just scribbling in a beautiful quote I found about the rain and um, just how you get to choose if you want to be sad about it or if you want to jump out and learn to play in it so I just loved that and um, here I'm just scribbling it along there to give a little bit of added interest to the inside of our diamond. And then I wanted to add a little bit more to our tag too because it was kind of boring as is. I mean it needs a little bit of a sentiment on there, right? So as I was writing this out I was thinking what I wanted to add to that cute little tag as well and I found um, some bits of the ripped collage bits that I used onto the spread and I thought it would be fun to bring those in. So I just was kind of trying out how I wanted to layer those onto the page. And then Nicole had sent along this cute little quote on top of deli paper um, that says, rain is just confetti from the sky. And I thought that was adorable. So I'm just ripping up another bit here to kind of give it that circular feel. And then I will glue that onto the little tag. So that's a nice way to add just a hint of sentiment, but it doesn't take away from the um, fun, clean aesthetic of, whoops, let's just rip that off there, um, of the page that I wanted, you know, just that kind of like geometric, um, new, like modern feel. Ooh, and then of course, you gotta add a little bit more sparkle. So I have the Aileen's glue. There was lots of fun beads and sequins in there, and I thought the sequins would just add that little pop of shimmer onto the page. You know I love a little bit of shimmer and glitter, so I'm just popping those on here. And then the last thing is uh, we got to use that toothbrush. So I have some silver liquid acrylic ink or high flow acrylic ink, excuse me, and I'm just going to add this onto the page. You can't really see it at all, but if I hold it up here, you can see how it does have some shimmer, which is so wonderful. And that is how I'm finishing up today's page. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It definitely was a journey from start to finish, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I love how this diamond just kind of pops from the center of the page when you open it and we have this beautiful little sentiment tag on the inside with that bit of lovely jean showing to remind me how frustrating this page was. <laughs> but that is the fun of art journaling is when you look back and you remember the emotions and the things that it stirred up within you when you were creating it. Bring it up here for a little bit closer. You can still see that ledger paper showing through and the collage bits, some of that uh, texturing, the different paint colors, the uh, lovely art marks, lines with the pens. It all came together beautifully. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to check out both Laura and Nicole's videos. The links will be down below. And don't forget to play along with us so you have your chance of winning one of our beautiful ephemera packs and maybe some other surprise goodies you never know, but you don't know if you don't play. Plus, we love seeing your art and how these prompts inspire you. So thanks again for playing along.